you want to learn about storytelling and marketing, then this video is for you. We're going to see why weaving storytelling into all aspects of your marketing is so cool and can really help you improve your results. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm Nick. I'm creator of resourcefulmarketing.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you get consistent results with affiliate marketing. So storytelling and marketing, I've knocked up this Facebook post, put it out a few days ago, and it's got this five step structure, really cool um, structure to create good stories, okay? So let's go over it, and then I'm gonna bounce over to an example I made for you. Um, and we're just gonna go through it, we're gonna analyze it together, see a few of the things that are playing, a few of the techniques going on, okay? So let's check out the post. Storytelling and marketing. First, tell them what happened. How did it feel? What did you do about it? What's life like now? And what should your audience do? Okay, let's, um, let's bounce over to my example and check it out. Now, um, just before I read you through my story, a um, bit of background, I'm always promoting um, digital marketing education and you know stuff in the make money online, work from home, digital marketing niche, okay? So my story is all about that, okay? And it's actually a personal story, true story. Um, so I hope you enjoy this one. And uh, let me show you how this structure applies, okay? And remember, you can use this story structure in any niche, okay? Any niche that you're in, right? It doesn't have to be digital marketing. Whatever products you're in, whatever niche you're in, use this storytelling structure, okay? Let's check it out. I took a year off to learn online marketing and to build an online business. Floating on dwindling savings, sleeping on my dad's sofa, and it started to dawn on me. Holy fuck, this online stuff takes forever. I'm not making any sales. I'm gonna actually have to go back to the nine to five. So I felt like I'd been given a glimpse of the online paradise, and then I'd had the door smashed in my face. I felt defeat, disbelief, and dread at having to interview for nine to five jobs again. The dread turned to panic, and the panic turned to drive. I pulled myself together, and I thought, you know, if this ain't working, it's because I'm missing a piece of the puzzle. There's simply something that I don't know. So I went out and bought the best marketing course I'd done so far and learned the one thing needed to power any business, traffic. I learned how to drive traffic and get a steady flow of qualified leads into my business. And suddenly, sales. Holy fuck, it felt like a safety rope thrown to me in the nick of time. A few more seconds and I'd have been fish food. Fast forward, I now have a rock solid feeling, knowing I can drive traffic to any affiliate offer and make sales. Panic's gone, I feel confident, I feel relieved, I feel buzzing. So if you're like I was, running out of money, time and enthusiasm, because you're struggling to drive traffic, make sales in your online business, I'd like to share a video with you on the next page that's gonna really help you out. Click learn more below. So let's go through and analyze a few of the things that play in this, okay? Let's just go through and, uh, and check it out. So in the first part, we're really describing the problem and we're describing the pain. And you can actually see that I'm dropping in pain points here. Um, I'm actually putting them in quotations. So I'm echoing the voice, echoing the conversation in my audience's head. Stuff like, I'm not making any sales. I'm gonna have to go back to the nine to five or I'm never gonna get out of the nine to five. You can see I'm just echoing these pain points out loud, okay? So in part one, you describe the problem. Next, we're gonna talk about how did it feel? We're gonna describe the emotion, all right? Now this part, you really wanna get into the feeling. And um, here's a quote for you. Selling is a transference of emotion, okay? It's a transference of feeling. The best way that you can sell, um, sell a vision to someone, you know, sell, um, you know, sell a solution to someone is to transfer a feeling. So easily done, you just use phrases like, I felt, okay? So look, I describe how I felt. I felt like I've been given a glimpse of paradise. I felt defeated, disbelief and dread, okay? So just describe the feelings that you're feeling. Really, really powerful because people will resonate and they'll be like, I'm feeling that too, you know? Instant rapport. When you feel the same thing as someone else, instant rapport, connectivity, um, and you know, a sense of trust, you know? They, they want to listen to you, see how you've got out the situation that they're in. You get me? So, a little turnaround here, the dread turned to panic, uh, I pulled myself together, and um, this, is, this is big, this is something that I really believe in. Um, if this ain't working, it's because I'm missing a piece of the puzzle. It's simply something I don't know. I really do believe this. I think you can educate yourself out of any situation, okay? Um, and this is how I felt at the time. You know, I just need to, and there's something I don't know. 
I need to go get another course and I need to add a bit more to my arsenal, to my toolbox and you know, I'll figure it out. So um, next bit you're gonna tell them, what did you do? Okay, so you can describe the action you took, all right? So I went and learned all about driving traffic and getting leads into my business and suddenly sales. And, um, and then you can bring in, you can bring in the feeling again, yeah? It felt like a safety rope, bring in a bit of imagery. A safety rope thrown to me in the nick of time, you know? As if I was drowning in a sea and I was gonna be fish food. Okay, so you can bring a bit of imagery in there. So now tell them what's life like now. And again, bring in the feeling. Okay, we wanna talk about the feeling as much as possible. That selling is a transference of emotion. Always remember that. I now have a rock solid feeling. Okay, the panic's gone, I feel confident, I feel relieved, I feel buzzing. Okay, so hit me that feeling. And then finally, your call to action. What should your audience do given this call to action? And you can open with this, okay? So if you're like I was, if you're currently in the same situation, you know, if you're going through a similar thing, use phrases like this, okay? And state the problem again. You know, you're running out of money, you're struggling in your business, sort of thing. State the problem again, and then say, what your solution is, what your offer is, okay, how are you going to help them? I'd like to share a video with you on the next page that's really going to help you. Click learn more below to access the video now. Um, so those are the five, five steps, okay? They work really nicely. And what I recommend you do is use this exact structure, all right? Use this exact structure. It's going to make your life so much easier. You've got a story you want to tell, you know? You've got a story you want to tell in your marketing. Pull this up and just use it. And actually, um, if you go to the post, how can I close this, how can I close this video? And if you actually go to my page, you'll find the post here. And I've actually um, walked you through another example, which is for like a dog um, training product. Okay, look, you can see my dog kept pissing everywhere and it sort of takes you through the same structure, same story structure, but with a slightly different example in a different niche. So um, go check that out if you want. I'll just, I'll drop this link below the video. Be sure to check out my free value series showing you how to get started with affiliate marketing. I'll leave a link for that in the description below. If you found this video useful, give it a like, hit subscribe for more affiliate marketing tips. If you've got any questions or requests for specific videos, drop them in the comments below. As always, thanks so much for joining me today. Go ahead and take action on everything you're learning and I'll talk to you again real soon in the next video. Take care.